Uh, I know that uh, Roger Gale is very uh, keen to, um, he needs to chair a meeting uh, um, near here, so you, you would like to speak next, so please Roger, uh, let's have your contribution. Thank you very much, Kelly Spera. Um, I'm, uh, I'm terribly sorry about this, but I'm chairing the Coroners and Justice Bill two doors down in the room that you ought to be sitting in. Um, I'm afraid it's because of us in part that you're not there, you're here tonight, and I have to be in the chair at 7.30, so I will be very brief indeed. Um, I also apologise to uh, those of you who came to Margate for the Blessing of the Seas a couple of weeks back, a few weeks back, because I'm going to repeat pretty much what I said then. Not a great deal, sadly, has changed. Um, Peter said he was going to uh, offer a ray of sunshine. I'm going to offer a ray of gloom. Um, I have been watching the negotiations that have been taking place in Cyprus, the talks, uh, with very great interest, obviously, and very great care. But I have to say that um, while it is a very good thing that people are talking, it's always better to be talking than not talking. I see no great signs of any movement whatsoever. I cannot see that the property issues that have to be addressed before there is any settlement have been addressed. I cannot see that the settler issue uh, that has to be addressed before there is a settlement has been addressed, and I cannot see that the troops issue um, has been addressed. Now, those are the three key issues that were missing at the time of the referendum. Um, it has been said that successive governments, British governments, have failed you, and I believe that's true. Um, I was deeply saddened that uh, Prime Minister Blair, as Prime Minister, went to Ankara after the referendum and uh, criticised the Greek Cypriot side for not saying yes, because that package was not a package that could be said yes to. It was as simple as that. It didn't answer the problems. I don't believe, actually, that the problems are going to be solved by the talks that are taking place now. Um, General Kaufman mentioned the importance of the United States in this, and I think he's absolutely right. Uh, the Prime Minister of the United Kingdom, Gordon Brown, and uh, President Obama are meeting in Washington probably as we speak now. I suspect that this issue will not be at the top of their agenda. Well, yes, they have other fish to fry, but I don't think anybody should be in any doubt at all that this is a very important issue indeed. The unresolved matter of Cyprus is a key to a lot of what is happening in the Middle East. This is a flashpoint that could take off at any time. It is an absolute scandal that there is a European Union country occupied by an army of occupation from an aspirant European Union <coughs> member. And it really is as simple as that. The answer to this problem, I fear, lies in the hands of Turkey. And the answer to Turkey answering the problem lies in Washington. And unless and until, I believe, uh, the President of the United States takes his shakes it, grips it, and says that this problem has got to be resolved in the interests of world peace, then we shan't see the movement, movement that we need. So, to summarise, I believe that those of us here in the House of Commons who have any interest, and every, clearly everybody here tonight does, have any interest in this issue, has a very clear duty, and that is to use such power, limited though it may be as we have, uh, to bring to bear such pressure as we can upon our colleagues in both houses of uh, Congress uh, and upon the President of the United States to say this has gone on far too long, you have the real influence, time has come to solve it, solve it. Every step.